Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Odin, its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hello subscribers and welcome back. It, it actually turns out that I may be capable of recording two episodes. Um, so yeah, we shall uh, at least attempt to do so. Where the hell is this place? Uh, I'll just transwarp, I don't mind. I've got probably more credits than I'll ever use. Yeah. Save myself some time and you guys some time as well. Okay, I wasn't exactly expecting it to drop me off right next to the system. I figured it would just drop me off a little ways away. But no, it actually managed to drop me off right next to it. Which it doesn't... I don't think it always does that. I think there are some times where it bugs out and it confuses two systems. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just begin the mission. Well, let's see what does it say. Corvat Colony was the site of negotiations between the Federation and the Klingon Empire in 2289. Although the talks to end the Cold War between the two powers were unsuccessful, they laid the groundwork for more serious negotiations years later after the destruction of the Klingon Moon Praxis. Okay. The facility is not responding to our hails, Captain. Probably due to the Gorn ships in the area. We need to drive them off and secure the system. We'll go and deal with this one first, and then we'll deal with those over there. Well, I managed to avoid those reasonably well. Let's go ahead and wait a little bit for them to uh, patch up our crew a bit. And to get our shields back up in tip top shape. Okay, the crew is done, but the engine, or not engines, shields are still a bit beat up. But we should be fine dealing with these frigates with a slightly beat up shield, so we'll just go ahead and actually make our way over to them now. By the time we get there, our shields should be fine. Yep, they are. And fire. Uh, I think that took boot. No, actually, it's gonna hit. Okay. Thought it was gonna miss. Front shields are taking quite a beating.
There we go, yep. Just stay behind them, try to get torpedoes right up their ass. Yep, that really hurt my crew. These guys are substantially slower than me, it seems, so I'm gonna have to slow down a bit. No, that's far too slow now. Captain, we are within transporter range. The away team is waiting your orders. Not now. Because I've got some skill points I want to spend before we go down, actually. Just a couple. Now we shall beam down. And yep, that's fine. I'm picking up Klingon and Gorn life signs, sir, as well as signs of destructor fire. They've beaten us here. Prepare for combat. We need to reach that guy. I'm going to butcher his name, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, before the Klingons capture him. some stew. Guess we didn't get the mines down. Oh no, we did. They're just not doing anything. What the hell are you guys doing? Quit jumping. I like how that munitions officer is just completely ignoring the fact that there's combat going on right now. Oh no, he finally decided to get involved. I don't think there's anything over here for me to loot. Uh oh, there's some gas here I can scan. stuff in there. I'll never use it, so it's going to probably get sold. Because I very rarely ever utilize those things. It doesn't look like he's inside. It looks like he's just on the other side of this. Damn it. Um, come on. There we go. For whatever reason, this thing had decided to just, like, stop responding. Deactivate pressure chamber. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, what kind of research did you do here? I'm a, research, I'm a research assistant for that guy. We've received special dispensation to use genetic modification to deal with age-related diseases. Okay. 
What do the Klingons want? The Klingons have been keeping us all captive here and asking us about our research. Some of them think we're a secret program to make new augments. I think the Klingons were looking for something to make their own augmented soldiers. Disease resistance, pain tolerance, increased strength. Tell me about augmentation. Augmentation involves rebuilding an individual's genetic characteristics to eliminate unwanted traits or to enhance or splice indesirable ones. <clears throat> Usually this is done with resequencing, infecting the cells with a retrovirus that rewrites them to produce the new cell structures. Augmentation isn't without side effects, though. It often causes heightened emotion and augments usually don't socialize well. Attempts to enhance intelligence often result in paranoia, psychopathy, or autism spectrum disorders. How about augment? How would augmentation affect Klingons? I couldn't really say. I know that the Klingons experience or experimented with stolen augmentation technology in the 22nd century, but they abandoned the studies after some sort of mishap. Okay. Where is he? He's usually in the main lab, follow the corridor past the cold storage and the gene samples. You can tell you're in the lab because there's a lowered section to provide space for the computer cores. Be careful, Klingon. The Klingon captain is probably there. Thank you, doctor. Stay safe. I'll find the lab. Yeah, I kind of dislike how these rocks follow you. Or when they throw these things, they tend to follow you. So you basically get to suck it up. Here, shouting up ahead, we must be close. Just wait until red alerts down. We are grateful for your assistant, Lieutenant Commander. What kind of research did you do here? A particular field of study is gerontology, the study of aging and various life forms. The Federation Science Council has given me permission to test various forms of genetic modification to find treatments for degenerative diseases such as uromotic syndrome. We're making significant progress. What did the Klingons want? The Klingon commander wanted to know about genetic modification. He was asking about the augmentation process, but that's been outlawed since the eugenics war on Earth in the 20th century. Khan Nohin Singen, I guess. I don't know. Probably butchered that. And his kind caused the deaths of millions. Who was he? The humans were the first to experiment with augmentation back in the 20th century. Within a few years, the augmented Superman were fighting non-augments. The eugenics war destroyed great swaths of the planet and caused some 30 million deaths. Earth was plunged into a dark age. Was the greatest of the augmented conquerors. He was the ruler of more than a quarter of Earth and he treated the humans under his rule like slaves. Unlike some of the other supermen, Khan only enslaved his people. He didn't massacre them. I guess that would make him the best of the tyrants. When the humans rose up against the augments, Khan and some of his people escaped into space. The crew of 
the USS Enterprise found them in suspended animation in 2267. Khan's battles against James T. Kirk are legendary. I've read an account of their fight in the Mutara Nebula, and it was thrilling. Okay. How would augmentation affect the Klingons? The Klingons' previous experiments with augmentation were disastrous, to say the least. In the, 20, in the 2150s, the Klingons attempted to use augmented DNA to enhance their warriors. Those who didn't die from neural breakdown developed drastically altered personalities and physical changes that made them appear more human. Then a strain of Levodian flu interacted with the DNA and what was a terrible experiment became a horrible epidemic. The spread of the augment virus threatened the Klingons with extinction. Eventually a way to stop the damage was found, but the Klingon DNA profile was irrecoverably altered. It took the Klingon gener decades to recover. To this day, those of us outside of the Empire aren't really sure how they did it. Uh, what do you suggest we do next? If the Klingons are doing augmentation research, you have to find out where they are doing this work and put a stop to it. Message from the Odin, sir. A Klingon vessel is approaching at high warp. I suggest we return to the ship. We could intercept any of their communications or get access to their logs. We might, or if we can get, if we can intercept any of their communications or get access to their logs, we might be able to find their point of origin and figure out where the Klingons are doing their research. Okay, well then, beam us up. Oh, okay. Just drop right in front of us, huh? Rodney, you miserable Toba. Fear the wrath of the Klingon warrior. Or of a Klingon warrior. It'd probably help if I actually gave myself some. gave some energy to my engines. I'd actually be able to move. Scan the Klingon databanks. Scan is complete. Sir, Captain, the Klingon ship is hailing us again, putting it on screen. Today is a good day to die. Ramming speed. I'd rather you not ram me, friend. No, hull integrity is below 75%. Thank you. Sir, I found something interesting in the Klingon computer banks. There's a communique ordering them to bring the biometric gel from the Corvat research facility to a location on Hatoria. And that's over the border into Klingon space, sir. If we go to Hatoria, we sh should expect to encounter Klingon patrols. Well then, just warp us over there. This is a long mission. Uh, we're in enemy territory now, sir. Scanners are picking up multiple targets. Interference from the nebula should be enough to hide us, sir. We can use it to conceal us until we get within transporter range, although going to full impulse will create a noticeable energy spike and may draw attention. What are the boundaries of the nebula? This particular cloud occupies a small area near this wreckage. Its primary primarily visible in the form of those blue clouds. If we veer more than a couple kilometers to either side, we'll leave the area of the distortion. Sensors at maximum, proceed with caution. Slowly creep. 
creep on over. As long as I don't hit the full impulse button, I should be fine. Scan this gas. Okay, we're about to get in range. Sort of get the feeling I have to kill that guy, though. Oh, nope. We are within transport range, sir. The away team can be beamed down on your command. Well, then beam us down. He's <clears throat> the laboratory building is southwest of, southwest of this location, sir. Stay alert. There will certainly be Klingon resistance. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Gonna have to agree with her. Setting your um, research station up on a planet this remote and hostile is by no means necessarily a bad thing. Basically, I move faster when in the shade here, it seems. I didn't even try to fight back. Set on up here. Uh, sword master and munitions officer. The munitions officers kind of piss me off a bit more, just due to their grenades. Didn't want to roll back there almost. No, stop it. Okay, let's enter the uh, Klingon research lab. 
Uh, it's both brilliant and unstable. Sir, he's not going to be easy to catch and he's going to have contingency plans. How should we handle this? Uh, that's what we'll do. Try to trap them. Oh, damn it. I didn't think these guys were right here. Thought they were a bit further out. Search file system. Uh, this score is 20% heavier and 30% stronger than average ES is been infused with augment DNA. Records show that show this patient had to be killed after he attacked his doctors in a rage, heightened emotional response, and a sign of augmentation. Okay. I can't roll down there. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted you to do. More? file system. Tricorder readings indicate that this Gorn's body was infused with human augment DNA. He did not survive the procedure. Okay. Bypass security system. Starfleet officers, come here and stop me. You should thank me. I'm close, so very close this time. Humans weren't quite right. Vulcans were too analytical. It's taken me hundreds of tries to get it right, but this time, this time I've got it. Combining several different species will create the perfect race. We will rule the galaxy. Oh god! <laughs> that caught me a little bit off guard there, to be honest. I kinda knew that was eventually gonna happen, but... It did catch me off guard, nonetheless. How did you trap me? Passive security scan. As soon as your transporter cycled, my transporter chief redirected you back and shut down the pattern buffer. I'll answer your questions, Lieutenant Commander, but only for as long as it suits me. What were you doing here? Nothing less than reshaping the galaxy. My work is revolutionary. It is light years beyond the pale dreams of mere mortals like yourself. Following in the footsteps of the great Khan Nonin Singit, I guess. I've spent my life polishing the genome like the most precious jewel. Now I can combine the best traits from a variety of species to create a perfect thing. My army of super augments will rule the galaxy. We will have eternal peace, peace through strength. Oh, it is glorious. I wish only my Khan were here to see the result. I honor your legacy, my Khan. Genetic modification is illegal. I don't recognize the laws of your petty judgmental federation. Your mouth, your, you mouth pretty words about mortality and diversity and peace, but you only fly around in, or but you fly around in death machines that could obliterate a planet. 
You talk about personal freedoms, but impose your will on everyone in your grasp. The Federation is a collection of tyrants. Why were you working with the Klingons? It is the curse of every great mind. Research requires resources. Ambassador Bravat was happy to provide me with all of the materials and research subjects I needed in exchange for an augment process to make Gorn warriors stronger and faster. He could have had so much more. I told Bavat that I could perfect the augmentation process and improve the Klingons, but he was loath to experiment on his own people. A pity. Good thing I had no such scruples. Did you augment Klingons? Not as many as I would have wished. They respond oddly to treatment. It's very interesting data. Unfortunately, most of my Klingon subjects broke out of the lab and escaped. They'll create quite the path of destruction on their fruitless quest for a cure. The results will be more illuminating. What is Bavat planning? I'm not privy to Bavat's private thoughts, Lieutenant Commander. I do know that he asked me to analyze a sample of blood from the most unusual being, three-fourths human, one-quarter Klingon. It was the most interesting genetic profile I have seen in months. Whoever this mural Paris is, I'd like to meet her. Oh, and Bavat kept asking me about time travel, how to do it, what the ramifications were. I'm a genius, but that's not my field. What else can you tell me? I'm bored with this, Lieutenant Commander. I'm done answering your questions. Let's beam into our ship. Commander? Or, Commander's asked us to take him out of the system, sir. From there, he'll be transported to the nearest star base for interrogation. Starfleet Intelligence has a lot of questions for him. You can return to the Odin whenever you are ready, sir. Let's depart the system. Hello, Starfleet. I never expected you could find the actual augment research, Lieutenant Commander. Starfleet will keep a close eye on this situation. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Okay. Yes, one second, Starfleet Intelligence. Just give me a little bit of time. The Doomsday Device. Starfleet believe that the Klingons were testing their new weapon in the Amaga system. We have information that now leads me to believe that, that these testing programs are for something much bigger than a new kind of torpedo. Starfleet Intelligence has received a message from someone calling claiming to serve an Ambassador Bavat's personal force. This source says that the Ambassador's research is complete and that he is planning on using some sort of doomsday weapon on Federation worlds. My aide, Lieutenant Van Ziel, will join you for this mission. Go with her to the Donia system. Bavat has a small supply base near one of the outer planets. Our source, a man named Kvang, says that he will find the information we need to stop Bavat there. Okie dokie. I don't care what Admiral Quinn says. Um, okay, so that's it. As always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.